I hope you're good. Today's story on Miss Bill Storytime as part of Hashtag Share a Story Sunday, we all know the hashtags by now, is called Scarlet and the Snail. Now hopefully I can read it a little bit quieter than I did with the pages the other day. Here we go. Once there was a little snail who desperately wanted to fall in love. I wonder what love feels like. Could it be as good as nibbling on a juicy leaf all day, he thought. Just then, he saw a lovely snail with a brilliant red shell that was as glossy as a cherry. Hello, snail. What a beautiful red shell you have, he said. What's your name? I'm Scarlet, but I'm not a snail, said the gorgeous creature. I'm a tape dispenser. The snail didn't know what a tape dispenser was. But he didn't care. He had just fallen in love. The snail took Scarlet to meet his family. This is Scarlet, my new friend, he said. Just look at her. She has the most beautiful red shell. That's not a shell, sniffed Dad. It's just plastic. She's not a snail at all, huffed Mum. She's just a tape dispenser. But I'll do anything to fit in, promised Scarlet. Just show me what it takes to be a snail just like you. Ooh, this always happens, their pages get stuck together. A real snail can retreat into its shell, a big brother boasted. But Scarlet couldn't do that. A real snail leaves a trail wherever it goes, big sister insisted. But Scarlet couldn't do that. A real snail can move both eyes in different directions at the same time, baby snail gargled. But Scarlet couldn't do that. Snaily things. She couldn't do this, or this, or this. You can't do any of the things we snails can do, chorused the snail family. The snail didn't care that Scarlet couldn't do any of those snaily things. She was clever at other things. She can wrap gifts like you wouldn't believe, he told his family proudly. It'll end in tears. Oh, no, it won't. Oh, there we go. <laughs> but the snail family just wanted Scarlet around. She's not one of us, they shrugged. Well, she is the one for me, said the snail. Scarlet and I will have to go and find our very own place where we can be happy together, just being ourselves. So Scarlet and the snail set off across the world. In London, Scarlet and the snail rode on a double-decker bus as red as Scarlet's shell. They saw the queen and Scarlet gift-wrapped gift her for the snail. In New York, Scarlet and the snail danced on Broadway. They starred the Statue of Liberty and Scarlet gift-wrapped it for the snail. In China, Scarlet and the snail met some cuddly pandas. They saw the Great Wall of China and Scarlet gift-wrapped it for the snail. This was the most tiring gift-wrapping job she'd ever done because it was so very long. That's really taking it out of me, she said. Let's have a rest while I get my stickiness back. They sat down in a quiet place by the water. When the moon rose over the silvery lake, they knew they had arrived. This was the place that they'd been looking for. That very night, Scarlet wrapped the moon for the snail. All the snails from New York to London, from China to the snail's own family, back home gazed at the moon. There it was, glittering in the night sky in the most beautiful rap. They wondered who the famous rap artist with the glossy shell could be. They all wished they could rap like she could. That summer, red became the fashionable colour for snail shell. Yet even with her newfound success, Scarlet began to feel sad. Tears rolled down her smooth plastic shell. What is it? asked the snail anxiously. I've wrapped the Queen, the Statue of Liberty, the Great Wall of China and the Moon, sobbed Scarlet. I've wrapped the biggest things on 
earth and in the sky. And now I've got nothing left to wrap for you. The snail dried her tears and smiled. But you don't need to give me bigger and bigger gifts, he said. You are the best gift I could ever have. Better than a gift wrapped moon, Scarlet queried. So much better, said the snail. Scarlet cheered up and felt a bit silly. Then she picked a little white flower and gift wrapped it for the snail. She couldn't help it. After all, she was a tape dispenser. The end. What an amazing story that was. It just shows that everybody has a purpose. And just because she didn't look the same as snail didn't mean that she was any less than him. I think she did an amazing job to wrap all those big things. Now, I hope you enjoyed this story as much as I did. If you have, remember, we've got the hashtag Share a Story Sunday. And you'll always find us at Miss Beale's Story Time, whether it's on Instagram or YouTube. So if you've enjoyed the story, give it a like, give it a share, comment any suggestions you might have or drop me a message if you'd rather. I know that some of you have been doing that, which I really appreciate. So thank you. And if we're on YouTube, give us a subscribe. I hope you all have a lovely weekend, well, remainder of it, and I will see you all on Wednesday for a lovely story that I'm really excited to read, um, and I might give you a preview just before. So, I will see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye, everyone.